Great. All right. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Welcome to uh, our week number three Twitch live stream that we have for uh, my intro psych classes. I hope all of you can uh, hear me and see me okay. If someone could let me know, can you hear me and see me all right? Let me know in the in the chat. That would be super helpful. Just so I don't keep talking when you can't hear me or see me. <laughs> Give you just a second. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I'm glad. I'm glad you can hear me just fine. Perfect. Okay, I got a couple of yeses, so we're good to go. Uh, so what I want to do today uh, is I'll give you a little bit of feedback on weeks number one and two. Our first two weeks section of the semester is over. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about some reminders for weeks three and four since we started week number three yesterday. I'll of course give you your Twitch extra credit um, question and then uh, see if you have any questions for me and then we'll call it a day. Uh, if you can't hear, you could always try logging out and logging back in. It might be your internet connection. Can other people, can you hear me now? <laughs> Let me, um, can everyone hear me? If you can't hear me, again, you could try logging out and coming back in, but everything looks good on my end. Good morning. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Hopefully uh, hopefully it's coming through all right. You can hear? Okay, good. Uh, again, you might try logging out and then logging back in. But uh, let's go ahead and go over to Canvas together. Okay, perfect. You can hear. Okay, great. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, you fixed it. Great. I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay, so we are, as of yesterday morning, we are starting weeks number three and week number four. And remember, as always, you have access to two weeks of materials at a time to give you that flexibility. So uh, you have access to week number three and week number four. But before I talk about those, I want to just go back for just a moment and talk about weeks number one uh, and two and just give you a little bit of kind of quick feedback. So uh, what you'll notice is yesterday, and I'll typically do this on Mondays unless it's a holiday, like next Monday, um, I may or may not get to it on Monday if we have the day off. Uh, but what you'll notice is typically on Mondays, I will go through and I will grade everything from the previous two weeks. So once the deadline is passed, um, on that following Monday, I graded discussion one and two and three and four. I was grading the extra credits throughout the week, but any um, final ones that were submitted, I graded those. Um, I also imported all of your scores from Canvas, uh, or from the uh, ebook site into Canvas. Thank you, Jess, for figuring out the subscription with Prime. Thank you for doing that. Um, I just saw it in the chat here. Uh, so what you noticed yesterday is all of those grades popped up. And I also sent out an email. So typically what I'll do is I'll send out an email with some kind of general comments about the graded materials for those two weeks. Um, and so make sure you're reading those. It'll also have any reminders about like the live stream and anything going on right now. But overall, what I saw was a lot of really good things, uh, a lot of great um, responses on the discussions. Just a couple of general comments. If you found that you didn't get full points, a lot of you were close, but you missed like a point or two. And I gave you the feedback of like, I wanted a little bit more, or I wish you would have elaborated just a little bit. Make sure that you are responding fully to all of the, um, the questions, right? Make sure that you're thinking about them almost like little mini papers. Uh, if you didn't quite give me enough, you lost a few points. There's also this link right here in all of the discussions. You'll notice there's a link to a discussion rubric and sample page. And so really important that you're looking this over if you're not getting full points. Um, so I gave you a sample, right? So notice that this person or in this sample, it's like a full paragraph almost per question. So just make sure that you're always really giving me, um, you know, the full amount of information, show off your knowledge and comprehension and that you understand the materials. Also, the biggest other thing that I saw is several people forgot to respond to a classmate. So remember that in addition to replying to my questions, which are worth up to 13 points, you should also be uh, reading through a few of your classmates' posts and responding to one of them in order to get those two points of credit. Those two points might not seem like a lot, but they will definitely add up with four discussions every two weeks. That's eight points right there. So you want to just make sure that you're always replying not only to me, but also to a classmate. Um, but for the most part, what I saw was really nice job. Um, a couple of people on the first discussion uh, 
confuse nature and nurture a little bit. Some people talking about nature as plants and animals and the things around us outside. True, but not necessarily in the context of our class. In the second one about research methods, um, I saw a lot of really fun ideas. A lot of you wanted to do really fun and cool, interesting experiments, which I think is great. Just not giving me enough detail or specifics to show that you understood the materials and the uh, type of research was the biggest thing I saw there. Discussion three, uh, the biggest uh, reason people lost points on the third one related to neurons and the 10% myth was just not quite giving me enough related to how neurons communicate. I was looking for you to mention electrochemical communication and that the electrical piece is made up of ions, the chemical piece, neurotransmitters, kind of describing that whole process. And then in the last one on smell memories, uh, a lot of really fun, interesting things a lot of you smelled for the experiment. It seemed like you enjoyed that, which is great. Uh, but some of you not quite giving me enough information about how smell memories are formed and what they are and how they work. So again, just make sure that you're giving me uh, as much detail as you can in order to get full credit. And if you ever want a little bit more feedback, you can always email me and I'd be happy to give you a little bit more detailed feedback. But um, I set this out in the announcement, but if you didn't see your grades, if you go back um, to modules here, if you go up a little bit here, there's this page about um, finding your grades and feedback and, and so on. And so if you're like, where do I find my grade? How do I find the feedback that you gave me? Um, I gave you a little video here. I made a little video showing you how you can find um, your feedback and how I use the rubric, when I'll be grading things and so on. So if you can't find your grades, this might be something that you uh, that you look at. It's, it's just like a two minute video, but it will show you that. It's scrolling up here, it's right here where it says grades, timing, finding your feedback and using them as a learning opportunity. Um, the other big thing that we had um, these last two weeks was exam number one. A lot of you did beautifully. The, high, um, the average score was just shy of an A. It was like an 88%. A lot of you scoring high Bs, A's. There were a lot of A's and B's on the test. Several of you got 100%. Um, there was quite a range. The low score was like in the 20s. The high score was 100%. And the average was right around um, 88% or just shy of an A. So uh, what I'd like to encourage you to do, and I'll, I'll remind you of this every time probably, is use your grades as a learning experience, right? A learning opportunity. If you scored really well on the exam, clearly what you did in this first two weeks worked for you. So uh, do the same thing in this next two weeks. If you um, got a high score or a score you're happy with, clearly your note taking, your reading, all of those things paid off. If you wish that you had done a little bit better, this is a fantastic time to kind of change things up a little bit. So in this next unit, uh, maybe read a little bit more. If you weren't reading, which you'll know, you know, and you might um, start reading the chapters a little more. If you didn't pay a lot of attention in the lecture videos, maybe take better notes and pay attention. If you didn't complete the study guide, that's probably the biggest thing I could uh, push for you to do. Make sure that you're typing out or writing out the study guide and have that in front of you. Most of you appeared to have enough time and the average amount of time was right around an hour and you had 75 minutes. So most of you finished in like 58 to 62 minutes, which tells me you were prepared and organized. And a lot of you did beautifully. Again, these exams are never meant to trick you or hurt you. If you've been reading, following along and you prepare, you should be in good shape. So I hope a lot of you feel like the exam was fair and decent. Um, a lot of you, as I said, did really, really well. And I also saw some of you doing the extra credit. Not a lot of you are doing it and, and that's okay, uh, but it is there for you if you would like to earn those two points every week. That will definitely help make up for like a lower exam score or a missed discussion or, or something like that. So um, those are the first two weeks. Are there any, I'm gonna put this in the chat here. Are there any questions? or comments or thoughts or anything about the materials from the first two weeks before we move on uh, to weeks three and four. I just wanna make sure if you have any questions or things you're confused about or anything like that before I move on. Wait just a moment and then I will keep going. I hope everybody is doing okay and hanging in there. We're already a fourth of the way through our class. It's wild, it's going so quickly. Okay. All right, if you think of anything, feel free to put it in the chat. Otherwise, in the interest of time, I'll keep going. But um, of course, if you think of questions, put them in there and I will uh, get back to you on that. So uh, 
We start weeks three and four. And so weeks three and four opened up and you'll see a very similar format of four cha uh, two chapters each week, two discussions, the optional Twitch extra credit question. Um, I also added something called a self-assessment, which I'll talk about in a moment. Week number four has opened up for you as well. I'll talk about week four next week in our week number four live stream. But if you wanted to work ahead, week four has opened up for you. Uh, I think it's a really nice way of looking at this, right? Just make sure that you're kind of getting an overview. Remember that at the end of the second week, there's this little wrap up checklist. So you could always click on that as just a quick reminder of what you need to do for these next two weeks, which is reading chapters five through eight in the psyched ebook textbook, reading the lectures for chapters five through eight, watching the lecture videos for chapters five through eight, complete discussions five, six, seven, and eight, take exam number two, complete self-assessment number one, and then there's optional extra credit number three, which I'll give you today, and then extra credit number four, which will be next week. So just as a quick like little overview, um, a reminder of what you need to do for these next two weeks. But our topics for this week, um, which we're focusing on, are chapters five and six. Chapter five, one of my favorite chapters uh, that we cover, which is on consciousness, looking at sleep and dreams and hypnosis and drugs. Uh, chapter six on learning, looking at classical and operant conditioning and how do we learn things um, through a couple of different methods. So uh, well, first order of business, make sure you read chapters five and six in the ebook. And then you'll want to go through the lecture and lecture video. And between those three components, again, you'll get all the materials you need for the exam. So make sure that you click on the lecture. And remember, the lectures are in that five tab format. So uh, don't skip, uh, don't forget to uh, do all those pages. And you can always listen to me reading it to you or you can read it yourself. So page one, as always, here's your summary and uh, you know your objectives, what will you learn? Page two is always gonna be beyond the book. Um, so for this one, there's a couple of fun videos. So there's a video on change blindness and inattentional blindness. I think they're quite entertaining and it's also things that we're covering uh, in the chapter. So they might, uh, they might just uh, be helpful. I put on here that they're more for like enrichment, but don't skip out on them. They're a lot of fun to watch. There's also a little tutorial here on the stages of sleep that I think might be really helpful. And this one is uh, will be on the exam. So make sure to watch it. A little bit about nightmares and sleep disorders and energy drinks. Lots of very fun and interesting information. In pop culture, a lot of movies and things highlighting the topic of sleep and dreams and hypnosis. Great scene from Step Brothers on sleepwalking. Um, yes Man on using Red Bulls. Some songs and books as well. Uh, remember that the fourth page is all of the key terms and review. So if you wanted to study as you went along, here are all the terms from chapter um, five that you need to know for the exam. Not a bad idea to focus on those and then you could add six and then seven and eight and so on. And then the last page is always again application. Now that I've read through this, how can I go ahead and apply it to my life? A uh, little video I made about how to remember your dreams, which may or may not be helpful for you. Um, this is going to help with one of the discussions for this week. If you tend to struggle remembering your dreams, you might want to check this out. Um, it will help you with the discussion. A little bit about help for substance use disorders. So again, make sure that you're reading um, through the lecture. Click on anything I put in there, watch any videos I put in there, all of that's gonna be helpful for you. And then you wanna watch the lecture video, of course, as well. Um, and this one is just a Zoom link um, because it does have some outside videos in it. So make sure you're watching that, taking notes, that's gonna help you quite a bit on the exams. And then um, two discussions. So let's take a look at those. You wanna do the same for chapter six, obviously. But let's take a quick look at the discussions together. Number five for this, this week, excuse me. Remember to always watch my little introduction video. Um, I went over um, kind of a couple of tips and suggestions uh, and went over the prompt in a little bit of detail. Uh, make sure you answer my questions, which are worth up to 13 points. Read through a couple of your classmates' posts and reply to one of them to get that other two points. So 15 points in total. Show off that knowledge, really um, answer in full detail. For discussion five, you're looking at dreams. So you're gonna read a little article related to dreams. Um, it talks about some of the different theories. And then you're gonna select a dream that you had recently and still remember with some detail. And don't mind sharing. You're going to kind of briefly describe your dream. Um, thank you, Maddie, for figuring that out as well. I appreciate that. Uh, saves me so much work, so thank you. Again, I appreciate it. 
Uh, so you're going to select a dream. You're going to share a little bit, not in great detail, but kind of give me an overview. And then you're going to explain your dream from a minimum of two of these theories that are covered in the article and in the book. And I want you to really describe the theory as well. So make sure if you're describing like you think that your dream came from like a wish fulfillment perspective, that you describe what is wish fulfillment and what does that mean and how does it connect to your dream. That's the biggest reason that people lose points here. So make sure that you're connecting the two dots. And then why do you personally think we dream? I tend to think that dream analysis is really interesting. I love interpreting and analyzing dreams. So you get a chance to kind of talk about, do you think that they're random? Do you think that they're meaningful? You can obviously do a reoccurring dream. If you absolutely cannot remember a dream in the next two weeks, you could talk about an old dream if you remember it, or you can maybe have someone in your life uh, share a dream they had and kind of go with that. Um, hopefully between all of those options, you will have a dream to talk about. The other discussion for this week, discussion number six, so keeps kicking me back up there. Discussion six is related to chapter six on um, learning and conditioning. So as always, again, watch my video, make sure that you're responding to my questions and then a classmate to get those two points. This one um, is related to conditioning. There's a little clip I want you to watch from The Office. I'm sure many of you have seen it. It's a little classical conditioning prank. And then what you'll be doing is identifying the components in the clip, the US, the UR, the CS, and the CR, uh, which should make much more sense after you've done the lecture and the reading and so on. Um, you're going to explain the process. And then other than I'm using pranks, describe one way you could use the concept of classical conditioning uh, in your life. And I wrote right here, make sure that your example is classical conditioning. This is probably the biggest reason people lose points here as they talk about operant conditioning on, um, on accident. So make sure you're talking about how you could use classical conditioning in your life in some way. So again, um, two discussions for this week, two chapters to read in the ebook along with the lectures and, and so on. Uh, the only other thing that's on here for this week that is a little bit different is that I did um, a self-assessment and you'll do a couple of these throughout the semester. This is my way of just kind of checking in with you to see how you're doing, how you feel about your progress, uh, your grade on the first exam. It's worth five points, uh, but there are no wrong answers. So anything that you say is valid and accurate, but click on this little link here and at some point this week or next week, uh, make sure you do this. It's a little survey having you consider your progress and your grades and your approach to this class up to this point. So for example, I'm doing my part to learn as much as possible and be honest, right? Where no matter what you say, you're going to get the points for it. Um, on average, I've spent how much time? Um, I consistently do the readings and turn them in on time. What is your most unclear point um, about the course so far, or the activity so far? And then thinking about your score on exam number one, is there anything that you plan to do differently on the next, uh, in this next part or moving forward? When you're done, you'll hit submit quiz, you get those five points. Um, I think it's just a great chance to kind of evaluate how you're doing, and it gives me a good um, indication of how you're doing as well. So uh, make sure that you do submit that and work on that at some point. Uh, the other thing that you have for this week, sorry, it keeps, uh, taking me way up there, is there is the optional Twitch extra credit question, which I'll give you in a moment. And then when we're done today, I will, of course, uh, post a recording of our live stream so that you can watch it later if you weren't able to make it live or maybe your internet kicked out or, or whatever, it might, um, whatever it might be, okay? So uh, are there any, any questions or comments or thoughts or anything for, for the moment? I do have a couple of quick reminders for you. Uh, and then I'll give you that extra credit question. Uh, but any questions from any of you? While I wait, let me give you those reminders. And then uh, if you have something, put it in the chat. So the first one, and a couple of you have done this today, which I'm so grateful for. I'm sorry to keep reminding you. I can't stand when people do this, but uh, I would love it if you can. Please take a moment. If you have Amazon Prime, uh, you have the ability to subscribe for free. It makes my life exponentially easier. There are in total 120 of you and only 32 of you are subscribed. So what that means is for the rest of you who join me, um, I have to go find your name 
and then highlight it on a sheet versus if you're subscribed, um, I'm able to just download that and it makes my life a million times easier. Please don't ever pay for this. If you can't figure it out, don't worry about it. But if you can figure it out, thank you like the few of you who did today, um, that's fantastic. It also means that you only get that one ad at the beginning instead. And if you're watching this later and want to get credit for not joining me live, if you are subscribed, you can still get credit for watching and attending to do the extra credit question uh, because I can uh, download a list of people who watched it who are subscribed later on. So sorry to spend the time harping on that. I'll keep reminding you every week probably, uh, but it just saves me a lot of time and uh, saving time is always helpful. So thank you. Um, the next reminder is our next um, Twitch live stream will be on um, Tuesday next week. Tuesday as usual. And next Tuesday is, let's see, let me go to my calendar here. September, can you believe that? September 6th. So next Tuesday is Tuesday 9-6 um, at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so our next Twitch live stream will be on Tuesday 9-6 at 10. That's our week number four live stream. I'll give you the extra credit. We'll go over exam number two and all of those things. Um, Sophia, you figured it out. Thank you. Um, Hannah had a question. I subscribe to Prime, but I'm on my phone in class. Uh-oh, in class. How scandalous. <laughs> but you're here. That's great. Um, no worries. And that's totally fine. It'll show up that you were here. Uh, yes, if you're just following, if you can't figure it out or it's too complicated for you, that's totally fine. You can put your name in the chat. It just makes my life easier. If you're subscribed, I can download you um, as a list. But please do what you can and don't ever pay for it. I don't want you like paying money for this. It should be free for you if you can uh, link those accounts together. Otherwise, just find me and follow me and join me live and put your name in the chat and that's fine as well. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to give you is that extra credit question and I did write it down here. So I'm going to uh, put this here in the chat and then I will show you where you can find it. So your extra credit for Twitch um, number three, which is where, where we are right now, is I want you to watch a clip called The Attack of the Quack and I'll show you where you can find this. And then afterward, you'll identify what is the US, the UR, the CS and the CR. So the unconditioned stimulus and response, the conditioned stimulus and the conditioned response. This will be great practice for the exam and for your discussion this week. Let me show you two things. So where you can find this clip. If you go back to Canvas, this is in chapter six. So go to the chapter six um, lecture right here. And then on the last page where it says application, you can scroll down and here is the attack of the quack video. Okay, and so um, it's only a minute and 33 seconds. It's quite brief, but if you watch this video, then you'll be able to answer that question. So again, this is in the chapter six lecture on the last page right here, Attack of the Quack. It's also in the lecture video that I showed you. So there's a couple of spots where it's posted. Uh, and when you're ready to answer the question in order to get the two points of extra credit, you'll go to week number three, which is where we are, click on optional Twitch extra credit number three. And then up here at the top, hit start assignment. And when you click on that, it'll bring up a text box where you can type your response or type your answer. And then go ahead and hit submit. And that will give you the little like confetti burst and uh, are those gnomes? <laughs> Sometimes there's random stuff in the confetti. Today it was gnomes. Uh, but this is where you can answer that question to get those two points of credit. Um, and this is due next Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. So you have lots of time to do that. Um, and again, I will post a recording of this later today. It takes a little bit of time to download and upload, um, but I will have it up for you a little bit later. Uh, so I think that's everything uh, for now. Again, week number four is open if you'd like to work ahead. But for now, week number three is our focus, consciousness and learning. Do the chapter in the ebook, read through the lecture, watch the lecture video, discussions five and six, self-assessment number one, and then if you want, the extra credit. Uh, somebody asked me as a whisper, which is a private um, comment, how do I find the instructions how do I find the instructions to subscribe? So uh, if you scroll up here, you can see right here, subscribing to my Twitch and YouTube channels. So I obviously use both of these quite a bit, but what I did, if you notice right here on Twitch, is I gave you step-by-step -step instructions um, and pictures with arrows. So you log into your Amazon account 
right? And then um, create a Twitch account on a separate page. And then you go to your account up here at the top, click on Prime, right? And then click on Stream, Explore Prime Gaming. And then I give you an example with a friend of mine um, who is a big uh, Twitch user, now more YouTuber. And then you click on this little purple bar uh, and then I gave you a little video here that also shows you how to do this. So um, that's where the instructions are if you were wondering. They're under modules um, and there's step-by-step -step instructions and a little video on how to do that. Okay? Um, otherwise, that's uh, everything that I had to go over with you today. Um, I will hang out for a few minutes. If you have any questions, you can put them in the chat. Otherwise, you're welcome to go. Um, you can go do the extra credit question or get going on the materials for this week. I hope you all have a fantastic week surviving the heat. It's going to be so hot here in like Moorpark, Simi Valley area over this next week, like 105, 104, crazy. So, uh, so definitely uh, try and stay cool. Sure, here's the extra credit question. I'll put it in the chat again. In the little Attack of the Quack video that I showed you, um, identify the US, UR, CS, and CR. Okay. Yeah, you as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Uh, it's been a fun week. I've done three fantasy football drafts. I'm very uh, in the swing of football, which starts in like a week and two days. I'm super excited for that. Uh, and yeah, not, not looking forward to the heat. But yeah, thank you all. Thank you all for joining me live. It's so nice to have you here. It's a nice opportunity to interact. So thank you for those of you who are here with me live or watching it later. Thank you for that too. Uh, but I hope this is helpful. I'm happy to keep doing it if it's something that's helping all of you. Ooh, it's on Sunday. Good luck. I have one more on Thursday. So good luck with your, your draft. I got Brady as my quarterback in two of them and Jalen Hurts in the other. So I'm happy with that. I think it, it's, it went well, I hope. We'll see. We'll see if I'm in last place in a couple of months. Then maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, good luck with yours as well. And I'm going to minimize my video so I'm not staring at myself, uh, but I am still here. I'll hang out for a few minutes if you have any other questions. Otherwise, again, get going on the materials for this week. Have a fantastic week, and I will hope to see you next Tuesday morning for our week number four live stream. Thank you. Good luck with, uh, with your stuff and everything going on for you. Even if it's not a draft, still good luck. <laughs> but I hope you all have a fantastic week. And I hope I see you on Tuesday next week as well. You too. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for being on here with me. I know I can't see you, but it is nice to have your company anyway. I'll take it. You're welcome. Thank you as well. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a great week. Stay cool. Again, 105. That's awful. I'm not made for heat. <laughs> it's going to be so hot. But uh, yeah, have a wonderful week. Thank you. Thank you as well for being here. And I am still here if any of you have questions. Um, I'm still here, so feel free to uh, put them in the chat if you have them. Otherwise, again, if you're feeling good, you uh, are welcome to go ahead and go. Of course. Thank you as well.
All right, so it looks like there's only like one or two of you that are still on here with me. So I'm going to close this up so I can start the download upload process. But of course, if you think of anything between now and, um, you know, the end of the week or whenever, feel free to email me. And again, have a fantastic week. Stay cool.